my gosh. Ermigerd! I, guys, is, Mer is Mercury in retrograde? I think I ask that every month. But is it though? Because today was terrible. Oh my God, but I'm here. I'm here. You're here. The, damn it, the cord and the t <laughs> Hold on. We're gonna fix the cord. Fixing it, hold on. I hate when I see cords. I don't wanna see any of them, ever. I hate them. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I think I'm okay now. I think. How are you guys doing? Coming at you just freshly showered with wet hair. <laughs> I, you know, I, I don't even know how to begin. Like everything went wrong today. I should have had way, way more. Wow. I should have had more time. That's what I'm trying to say. And there was a surprise rainstorm. Then I, you know what? I'm just. <laughs> I mean. I mean, we're gonna get the booch going, the hard booch. I need this right now. Oh my God, okay. How is everyone? <laughs> is it someone's birthday? Is it? Whose birthday is it? Oh, love my GSDs. Well, what? Well, I need to know a name. <laughs> Should I just use your handle? That's gonna, that sounds hard. Um, Lisa Remo, it's my son's birthday. All right, let's, hold, hold on, <laughs> hold on. Let's not get too crazy. Um, I need to take a few more sips of my drink before I get there. <laughs> Stacy, Stacy, okay, Stacy, great. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Stacy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Stacy. Love my GSDs. I actually feel a lot more centered now that I did that. <laughs> it's that singing. It's nice. Okay. Puts me in a good mood. Um, okay, so... Let me just tell you what happened. Also, can I not be so, so zo zoomed in this, this early on? Let me, oh, for God's sake, geez. Okay. Um, so basically I, <laughs> I did have a day. I had a day, I was at the pharmacy. You're gonna think I made this up. I don't make this shit up, okay? <sighs> I had groceries. It was supposed to be a quick trip to the pharmacy. Of course, there was a line. Um, and okay, now don't don't be alarmed because it's actually been a while since this happened. But I've told you that sometimes I get those really. <laughs> I got a pain. A pain. It was a pain. It was really, really, really intense. I take magnesium now. I didn't take my ma my magnesium today. Okay, while wow, we're getting in the weeds. We're getting in the weeds here, folks. Didn't take it, big mistake. Standing in line, like sweating. I mean, I could have been like on the ground. People are gonna write me in the comments and be like, do this, this is wrong with you, you're dying. Please don't. I'm not, I'm fine. Um, I didn't take my magnesium. But um, basically, I needed a 
restroom. And what, right when this happened, I'm dead serious. This is horrible. There was a woman and her husband and she, I mean, I don't know what was wrong with her. She fainted, like she fell over. So there was a woman down. No one was calling the ambulance. It was a pharmacy. And then there was a man who was outraged. She was like, is anyone gonna call, are you guys gonna call an ambulance? It was horrible. So you can imagine how I felt. I felt horrible for this woman, but I literally was sweating and like tearing up. I was just like, I was just like bending over and like doing stretches and like panicking, panicking. So I go up and I'm like, I'm so sorry. I know there's a lot of emergencies happening right now, but I really need to use your restroom. I'm having an emergency situation. Um, and <laughs> they were like, no, I was like, I, like an emergency situation like I please and they're like there's an employee bathroom but you're gonna have to go up to the front and like talk to security and I was like cool so when someone tells you there's an emergency awesome okay got it thank you so much so then I go straight to where I know the employee bathroom is and I go up to two people and I was like same thing like just panicked <laughs> and they're like it's an employee bathroom. So I'm like, so I'm telling you it's an emergency and just nah. And they're like, so I ran out of CVS. I had something in my hand. I had eye drops on my hand. I completely didn't even realize it. So for about five minutes, they were stolen eye drops. I guess I'm a criminal now. I run to my UPS mailbox because all those guys who work there know me and they're amazing. And he immediately was like, just go to the back, go to the employee restroom just right now. And I was like, thank you so much <laughs> running back there. Isn't that the way it should be though? If someone comes up to you and is like, I'm sorry, I'm having an emergency. I know you don't have a public restroom, but can you please let me use, don't tell them no. Don't tell them no. For God's sake. <laughs> so this just happened. So I got home, I was like, I'm moving my live stream back. And then we're fine now, we're fine. And I mean to tell you, it was fine. Okay, I, w once someone helped me, but my God. Yes, my UPS place is amazing. And I hope that one's okay who was on the floor. It, it's not, okay, listen to me. This is not a disgusting story because it does not has to have to do with what you think it has to do with. It's a whole situation. It's not, we're not talking about what we think we're talking about, okay? It's it's like a pang and it's like a, I'm like doubled over, but nothing's happening, just, okay? Because the last thing I wanna talk about is that on my channel. But like, I just had to tell you what happened preceding this. <sighs> okay, so yeah. And there was a rainstorm before that. So I was like running. <laughs> um, yeah, I get the pangs. I get, I get those pangs, free, not frequently. Actually, I, I haven't gotten them in a long time, like a few months because I take magnesium, but I didn't today. Um, Okay, Susie Stevens, yes, but it was not that type of a situation, okay? We're not talking about anything grotesque or gross. That's not what we're talking about. Anyway. Um, oh, and then, wait, I'm not done. <laughs> so then I came back. Well, yeah, they don't know what's wrong with me. I, I could be, what? I don't know. I could be pregnant. I could be dying who's to say who's to say so then i'm fine once yeah stephen ford stephen ford the finding a bathroom struggle in the city is something i 100 percent forgot about during the pandemic um please don't send me a million comments in my in my comment section trying to diagnose me because just don't please don't um, I'm fine. I assure you I'm fine. But 
then I went back to the pharmacy once I, you know, composed myself and I'm not even kidding you. The registers just stopped working. Like they couldn't ring anyone up. They're like, literally there was a line of 20 people. They're like, guys, so I'm so sorry. Like our system's down just all of a sudden. So we can't, we can't ring anyone up. Um, oh. What? What's happening? Troll? I don't know. Okay. Um, anyway, so, so <laughs> this is what I'm saying though. Oh, oh, gross. Hold on a second. Let me get rid of this person. Okay, great, 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 great. Thank you. Yeah, so basically, um, it was a terrible day. But you know what? It's not terrible anymore because I'm here and I have my kombucha. See, if I would have had this beforehand, maybe it would have been okay. Um, so here's the other thing. When I went to UPS, I had a box there, which is great. So I had a, a ColourPop box and it's PR, which is awesome. <laughs> CC, Pangs and Trolls, Pangs and Trolls. So this is a brand new collection. So I just switched it up because originally I was gonna do um, Alter Ego, which I will do. But like, listen, when ColourPop sends you something that releases tomorrow, you gotta talk about that. <laughs> So I am going to swatch these. These are their Ice Cream Bites collection. Ice Cream Bites collection. Um, and I have, I guess there are six of them. They only sent me four, but that's fine. Um, <laughs> I don't need more than that. Um, this is what they sent. And did you, did you hear the scoop? So we're gonna, we're gonna use, you know, one of these. Wow, there's so many, look at how fun they are. They're little pressed shadow quads. Yes, they're very cutesy, CC, exactly. Got the glitter, the glitter shadow. Wow, oh, that one's really glittery. Anyway, I'll show you more in depth when we get there, but they're really fun, right? Hi, Educon. So, I thought there was something else terrible that happened, but I don't think so. I think I covered everything. <laughs> Guys, I know it sounds like a lot of really bad things happen to me. Um, I get that comment frequently, like, only you, Kate, which also makes, don't say that to someone. <laughs> I have to believe that other people have struggles in life or is it just me? I think the difference is that I'm on like a, like I'm publicly speaking about it and I'm like making, I'm like telling you a tale. I'm, I'm weaving you a yarn. Um, no one wants to hear about like, well, I went to the store and I got some groceries and then I came home and it was a beautiful day outside. Now I'm here. Who, who, no one cares about that. Oh, woohoo. Whoopie doo. Okay, so when something bad happens to me, you rest assured, I'm going to be here to tell you all about it. And yes, I also live in New York. Correct, Melanie McCoy. Thank you so much. Correct. <laughs> Beyond the skin with Michelle. I don't think so. Just not everyone has a channel to vent on. I think it's great you. <laughs> I just assume maybe someone else had a shitty day and like maybe this is cathartic for them. I don't know. Stephen Ford, no one cares about your great day, Karen. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that's a good, yeah, Devo, I think it's more that you are observant and notice more of the craziness around you. Yeah, I think I'm more affected by it, too, because, like, people in New York, um, we suffer in silence. Like, a lot of the times, they just don't react to things, which I realize, you know, we kind of have to do from time to time, but, like, I'm noticing everything around me. Whereas other people, I guess, are just like hanging out and like perfectly fine. 
I'm just like, this is fucking weird. Okay, let's just have a moment for how weird this is. Anyone? Bueller? Bueller? No? Just me? Cool, got it, thanks. Um, you are not alone. Thank you, Beyond the Skin with Michelle. I am here with you. Though it's a Michael Jackson song, isn't it? Back it up, 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 back it up. Okay, so we have some ColourPop. Um, we have some, a new Clé de Poe. <clears throat> I really want to use this shade. I showed it last time and I didn't put it on my lips though. So Clé de Poe lip gloss, which I am loving. Thank you, Sherry Ford. And also I'm... <laughs> I was trying to link, um, here it is. I was trying to link this beauty pie, um, quick color contour super gel, which I'm going to use. This was sent to me by the company. If you watched my last live stream, I had something sent to me by the company and something sent to me by a very happy life. And I totally confused all of them. So anyway, I tried to link this. Um, I'm excited about using it, but I think it's sold out. We're going to use it anyway. It'll come back in stock. Maybe. Um, <laughs> Vivian, listening to your you vent makes me feel better about my day at work at a physician's office. I'm so glad. Also, when that woman was laying on the floor and this guy was like, is someone going to call an ambulance? And then the people in the pharmacy were like, should we? And he's like, I, yes. Um, he's, and then he got really annoyed and he's like, there's a woman on the floor. Why would you wait on that? And she was like, well, we have to ask. We can't just assume. Is that true? Like if you work at a pharmacy and someone's like on the floor, you have to literally be like, do I have your permission to call an ambulance? That can't be true, can it? <laughs> that can't be true. Is it? I don't know. I don't know things. I really don't know things. Someone tell me. Not true. <laughs> Not true. Yeah, I think she was just like very defensive and feeling not sure about the situation. Um, yeah, that seemed not true. Okay. I am going to bring... Uh, right. Okay, so... I am going to use a few things that I used on my last live stream, but I really want to use them again. Number one being um, this Chanel Le, Be Le Beige uh, Water Fresh Fresh Tint um, because it was so amazing last time and I was so mystified by it and I feel like now maybe I'll have a better handle on it. <laughs> I am trying to decide whether to use this as a primer or should I? is it best to mix it in? I kind of want to try it as a primer. You tell me. You tell me. Um, oh, Mena El Shiati. So happy I'm catching another of your lies. It's 2 a.m. here, the perks of being an insomniac. Oh, sorry, you can't sleep, but I'm glad you're here. Primer. Okay, primer. Primer. Oh, Sherry Ford. Sherry Ford is here. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use it as a primer. She has spoken. So, let's just get going. Let's get going here. I'm gonna let my hair dry, <laughs> do what I've done a couple times, which is then just whip some product in it.
Wow, there's lots, there's a really interesting conversation going on here about someone who worked in HR or works in HR. This is riveting. Um, Glamour eyes, it can be used as a light foundation. The balls are little, pi oh, little balls of pigment. All right, well, we're just gonna use it by itself and see, see what we should do. We're gonna use it as a primer. So can you see there are little balls of pigment um, and this is in the shade light again. So like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it also has like a very nice scent to it. Um, yeah, the smell is so good. I mean, I guess if you can't handle fragrance whatsoever, that probably is not going to be your jam, but it's Chanel, darling. It's Chanel. So this is a little, you know, this is a little light for me right now, but if when I'm, you know, more pale, it'll be perfect. But that's okay, because we're gonna put, I am gonna put um, foundation on. Okay. This is so beautiful and dewy. It is hydrating. It is, hyd it is hydrating. I feel like I just put skincare on. I, and again, I know it, it might be a little hard to tell because my face doesn't match the rest of my body right now, but it's lovely. Priscilla, you should follow a Michelle Wong makeup tutorial for that series that you do. For that series that you do. What series? What? Oh, I love it. Thank you. <laughs> um, I love Michelle Wong. <laughs> And thank you for watching my channel. Um, yeah, a little coverage blur. Is that what it looks like? Just a little bit. Okay, so now, I, how do the balls break down? I'm trying to imagine, oh, I don't know. I mean, listen, I know this is shocking, but I'm no scientist. <laughs> Um, the scent is like, it's a mild, 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 a little bit perfumey scent. Okay. So now I'm going to take, cause I want to use this. I want to use this all the time. This is the La Mer, the radiant skin tint. And I was actually watching a Lisa J makeup, um, or her current favorite things video. I love watching her videos because, I mean, she's gorgeous. <laughs> I want to know what she puts on her face. Um, and she was talking about how this is like her current favorite foundation. And I was like, I have that one too. Because Sherry Fawn sent it to me. I'm mixing in a little bit, of course. This is, you know, how I'm surviving right now, the Fenty body sauce and where's Ryan where's Ryan I have a brand new sponge get excited so <laughs> on a lighter note after that story I went out with Randy last night to Brooklyn and the plan was to go see Black Widow. Have you guys seen it? Um, 
Now, if you're not caught up on my channel, I ha I've been made to watch the entirety of the Marvel Universe, uh, all the movies, because I really wanted to watch WandaVision. And, you know, Randy was like, my boyfriend is like, you, you're not really going to understand unless you know the history. And I was like, okay, well, it sounds like I'm getting tricked into watching the whole thing. Anyway, <laughs> well, we made it through. And, um, yeah, so finally, you know, it, when did we finish it? I guess last week we watched Endgame. And so we went to see Black Widow. And I was, I mean, after seeing all the Marvel movies, I have to say it's probably one of my favorites. Um, I'm, no spoilers, okay? No spoilers. <laughs> um, but I really, I really love Scarlett Johansson. I just think she is so special like she just has a presence I kind of have a girl crush on her she's just I love her I, I think she's a fantastic actress I actually saw her um in Streetcar Named Desire on Broadway like years and years and years ago and I remember being really skeptical I don't know why because you know sometimes they put stars in shows and it's like she was so good she was so good as Maggie Maggie I should know this. Yes, Maggie. Um, she was phenomenal. And so anyway, I think she's great. And Florence Pugh is like incredible. David Harbour, like the whole thing. I was, I was into it. Um, so yeah, before that, we just went, we found this really cool bar, bar in Borum Hill, which is this little cute part of Brooklyn. And we just hung out and it was super chill. It was called Someday Bar. And we had chilled delicious craft beers and um their food was off the hook and then we went to see the movie it was a great day see wasn't that story wasn't as exciting as my other one was it <laughs> no we need some pos we need some positivity Oh, I never saw, I love Florence Pugh. She was great in The Little Drummer Girl. What's that? Oh, I didn't see that. I didn't see that, but I really, I really love her. Um, have you guys seen Midsommar? I mean, it's really, really weird. It's about a cult and it's a horror movie, <laughs> but she was incredible in it. And that was probably the first time I think I've seen her. Jamie K. Hi, gang. I've been listening while I get dressed for fancy sushi dinner. My friend and I, my friend I'm going with had a wacky day like Kate did. So this meal is well earned. Oh, my gosh. Gosh. Well, sent, I'm sending good, good thoughts, good vibes. Just um, using the... I forgot to put this in the description box, but this is the Fenty Bright Fix for my concealer. Michelle, do you remember Scarlet and the Horse Whisperer with Robert Redford? Oh my God, it's been so long. So I forgot she was in that. I've heard, you know, I've heard she's very nice. I've heard only good things about her. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Got it. Oh, Priscilla was referencing Michelle Wong and uh, I guess she said, I guess it's not a series, but I was binge watching your videos and love the ones where you re recreated Jaclyn Hill and Kylie Jenner's tutorials. I see. Are you, are you implying that I should follow a Michelle Wong tutorial? 
you know, here's the thing about that series, because I did want to make it a series. Um, it kind of has to be someone who's like roast worthy. You know what I mean? Like Michelle's one of my best friends. <laughs> so it's, it has to be someone that I can like mildly make fun of and people aren't going to have a heart attack about it. Um, does that make sense? You know what I'm saying? Like it, or else it's like, this is boring. I mean, no, I'm not saying, you know what I'm saying? Tati. Yeah, it's not really like a super serious series. I mean, Priscilla, did you notice that when you watched it, I was fully making fun of both of all of those people? <laughs> but in a nice way. Um, Patrick Starr, that's actually... Okay, Tati, Patrick Starr. Yeah, Jamie K, it has to be a kind of ridiculous person or an insane makeup look. Exactly. Exactly. I know, Shiri, people will come come at you if you roast Tati, her fans. Are, oh, yeah, no, that's, I'm like, I don't know if I can handle that. <laughs> um, okay, so now I'm going to... Sorry, I'm just putting things away. Um, I'm gonna use this, I don't know, discontinued, maybe just out of stock, gel contour wand from Beauty Pie that they sent me. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. We'll just see how it goes here. Wow, that is truly blending out beautifully. Beauty Pie can have its way with me, okay? Okay, perfect, perfect segue, because I want to mention this. Glossier just dropped something like this today. They, they dropped a gel, a cream gel bronzer in four different shades. And I posted on my community tab. And later on, I'll put it in the description box. But they look really beautiful. It looks very, very similar to this. I hope the shade range is okay. I it looked um I mean they're generally really really inclusive, but I mean maybe maybe a person of color could weigh in about what they think. Glossier usually is pretty thoughtful about those things, I find. Um Oh, Jessica, that's such a good idea. Once you start watching WandaVision, it would be fun if you did makeup looks inspired by each episode. Oh, that's such a good idea. Um, I really like WandaVision. I love Elizabeth Olsen. I think she's phenomenal. Um, I'm into it. Actually, I thought I might need like a powder bronzer, but I think I'm wrong. Yeah, this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. I'm gonna put just like, I 
I'm really sorry <laughs> that I'm using something that isn't currently available or isn't available at the moment. Um, but like I said, check out those Glossier um, products. Okay, I think that I'm, I might still go in with a bronzer, um, a powder bronzer, but that's really natural and really, really pretty. So, okay. Okay. I hope, I hope this comes back. They just sent it to me. <laughs> so it must have just like gone out of stock. Um, okay, so. Simply swatch. I would also like to know how the deeper, talking about the um, Glossier, the deeper shades would work for a POC. The deepest one looked quite red. I'm really, I'm really downing this drink. Okay, let me do some powder and You know what? I'm going to take a second because why not? Because why the hell not? And I am going to go ahead in lieu of this Beauty Pie Contour product. I'm going to link the um, Glossier one. Hold, please. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves. Linking, 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 ride. Okay. Ugh, oh, see, I don't want to buy a duo, okay? Just take me to the bronzer. Okay, great. So this is, it's called Solar Paint, and it is a luminous bronzer creme. Solar paint. Damn it. Paint gel. There's so many things I feel like I could call it. Okay, you get it. You get the picture. Okay. Great. I'm back. Hello, Melissa. Hi, Marion. I didn't say hi. Hi, Joanna. Yas. Okay. What do you guys, I also wanted to ask your opinion since a lot of you who are here are people who come every time or close to every time. Do you like a seven o'clock time slot or a 7.30 time slot? Because sometimes I feel like when I start a little bit later, more people end up maybe, well, we'll see. I mean, but I have found in the past that more people kind of end up like stumbling in later on. Anyway, just a question. Joanna, 7.30 is better for me. Okay. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, wow. A lot of people are saying 7.30. Okay. Yeah, Jamie Case. Yeah, it's good for the West Coast people, right? Okay, I might just make it. Okay, understood. Understood. Wow, it's a resounding seven thirty. Awesome. Um, so let's do some powder. I'm breaking out my Chantecaille Perfect Blur powder now. Yeah, this is available. I, I, I linked it. So it should be available in like that new flower packaging. Um, love this powder. Oh, wait. Nope. Nope. Cream blush. Cream blush. I'm excited to use this shade. I swatched this last live stream. This is the Beauty Pie Super Cheeks Cream Blush. The, guys, these are... These are the bee's knees. This is called Bear Blush. It is a muted pink.
Lisa D, State of Kate wasn't happy with the range, the Glossier range. I saw that. Well, <laughs> um, I am so, she is so in depth and she's so great at it. And I feel like I'm over here like, yeah, it's gonna love it. It's not good. Gotta got get it now. <laughs> Unless it's not inclusive and then that's terrible. Um, she's just, yeah, <laughs> she gets in there and I love it. Isn't that gorgeous? Like what's even going on? What's even going on? And it looks so subtle. All right, I'm changing the live streams to 7.30. I'm making the announcement. It's happening. Is that a new conch piercing? Oh, this? No, I've had that one. I actually had it. This is the conch, right? Conch? I don't know how to say it. Um, but I actually had a piercing right here and it fell out. It wasn't conducive to earbuds and I have kind of tiny ears, so it just, it didn't work out. I let it go. Guys, get the Beauty Pie blushes, okay? Run, do not walk. Oh, tragus. Oh, that's the tragus, Lisa said. Okay, right, sorry. So, okay, wow. We're learning anatomy tonight. I love this. What do you think of the Dior pressed powder? I don't have that. Do I need it? Inside the ear curve is the conch. Conch. Okay, it's this one. No, it's, um, yeah, I've had that for a while. A little like, um, sort of diamond, um, what is this shape? It's like I'm going back to elementary school. <laughs> this is a, I don't know. Glamour eyes. We can't get beauty pie in Australia. Devastated. I'm sorry. And I know it's not available in Canada and I get a lot of comments about that. And I'm so sorry if I, I mean, if it's announced that they're shipping to those countries, I will definitely keep you in the loop. Okay. I'm going to powder the face. This is again, the Chantecaille beloved by so many, Michelle Wong, Teresa's dad, a rhombus. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't have gotten that one. I'm so glad you weighed in. So I actually did learn this from Michelle. She did a whole video on baked gelée formulas. And this, I believe is a baked gelée formula. Am I I'm really questioning myself tonight. <laughs> um, but this is best used with like a really dense kabuki brush. I mean, did that not kind of airbrush my face out a little bit? I believe it did. I believe it did. Okay. So now <laughs> Autumn Kinsey, I think Michelle needs merch that says baked gelé. <laughs> yes. I I would buy it. Thank you Michelle. It's beyond the skin of Michelle. <laughs> okay, so I am going to use this um I just can't get over this packaging of this Westman Atelier butter bronzer, or what is it called? Butter, beauty butter bronzer. Um, can I open it with my nails? That's the question. It's just so satisfying. Um, makes me hungry. Sorry, I just spat. Okay, so let's do it. Let's do it. Let's bronze it up.
I'm like not even using a mirror. I'm just looking into my phone. That's how much I'm trusting these products right now. <laughs> Sarah Cohen, I need an hour of you and Michelle saying baked jelly over and over. <laughs> Thanks, Bonnie. It's my Miss Piggy mirror. I've got a backup someone sent me. Don't you worry. I think that's perfect. I think that's perfect. This bronzer. feeling a bit parched. I think I'll put some of this million dollar shit on them. Michelle Wong made me buy it. Not mad about it. Okay. <clears throat> now we're going to do, I am going to have to go get another drink. There's just no two ways about it. Um, so I'm going to pull out this new, I'm using a lot of the stuff I used last time, but oh well. Um, this is the Gucci powder eyebrow pencil. Melissa, you should do a video of products Michelle Wong made you buy. That is... That is on the list. That is on the list of videos. For sure. Sorry, that's my air conditioner. Don't don't be alarmed. <laughs> Devo, Kate, what is the first show you want to see once Broadway is fully open? Oh my God. I don't even know what's on Broadway right now. Um, I really don't, I, I don't know. <laughs> I do, you know, it always comes as a surprise to people who don't live in New York that like, I don't really see shows, you know? I mean, it's, I mean, I love seeing a show, but it's also like, I don't know. I just don't get around to it. It's expensive. Um, I need to get in the loop again. Well, and I also feel that Broadway is just, yeah, it's very expensive, Cece said. It's just, I think there are some amazing things Broadway puts out there. I really do. And I think there's a lot of schlock. Um, so I've got an itch in the middle of my back. Um, so I don't really get excited about it. You know, I am. Oh, whoa. Whoo. Did you hear that? <laughs> I am going to my friend Tina's show. I'm very excited about it. She's doing her own, um, like folk show in the city on Sunday. Very excited. Um, She's fabulous. Tina's, I've talked about Tina before, and she also is, uh, has a, a podcast, Obsessed with the Best podcast. And yeah, I'm excited to go and support her and just hear her sing some soothing folk country gems. <laughs> I will say that, um, oh, Sherry Fort. Sherry Ford, happy Wednesday, everyone. It's been a hot and freaking humid one here in Austin. 
I'm ready for some cooler temps and we've got three more months of this. Ugh, ugh, Sherry. Sherry, thank you, Sherry. You're the best. Yeah, Lisa L, when you live in a big city, many don't realize people who actually live there don't do a lot of the more touristy stuff on a regular basis, almost like we take it for granted. It's weird, yeah, it's true, it's true. Um. The last, Joanna Yas, the last thing I saw was frozen. How was it? Okay. Um, now I'm going to put a little bit of brow gel because I love, I really like this pencil. <laughs> My six year old loved it. Good. As, as they should, as they should. Um, this is, I'm just going to go in with my Kosas Airbrow because I do, I do love a pencil and a gel because I like to do the feathered thing. You know that. Those are pretty damn feathered, wouldn't you say? Okay, so now I'm going to, we're gonna do some swatchy swatchings of these ColourPop. Um, so these are like the stars of the show. Got them at the last minute. Um, and these are the ColourPop, I, this is the ColourPop Ice Cream Bites collection. Um, I love a situation that's simple. Okay. You guys know, I don't, I don't need a lot of options. I like a one and done. Um, and these are just, again, these are releasing tomorrow as far as I know on ColourPop. So if you go to ColourPop and you're like tonight and you're like, where are they? They're coming out tomorrow. I heard. All right. We're going to swatch all of these. <laughs> so sit back and relax. Kate, Cindy, Kate, do you think the Kosas would work on sparse brows? Yes, I do. My mom, my mom uses it and she really likes it. And she, she liked it so much that she bought, she bought one for my, my aunt. So, and they're both, well, my mom is 70 and my aunt is a few years younger than her. So, I mean, I'm not, you get what I'm saying. I'm just saying like, there's like a sparseness happening as we mature. Some people are sparse and they're not mature. That happens too. Whatever it is, get the Kosas Air Brown Gel. <laughs> get it. Okay, so this is called trip, Triple Scoop. This is a fall delight. And then we're, I'm gonna swatch these and then, and then you'll tell me which one I should use maybe, or I'll just decide. So, I also like the packaging. This is just, I mean, I know it's simple, but like this is all, this is really all I need. I don't need anything super fancy or elaborate. Okay, so. Okay, that that's literally a one and done for me. I'm obsessed with that. Oh, I think I have the names on the back, but like this is, this is Orange Sherbert, good name. So pretty. Okay, I'm not doing the names because they're, no. I'm sorry, that's French vanilla, no one cares. Okay, this is Orange Sherbert. <laughs> this, is, this is Orange Sherbert. That first one is French vanilla. Oh my God, ah, that's so pigmented. This is, oh my God, the print is tiny. 
All right, whatever. We don't care. I'm giving up. I give up. Oh, geez. And then we've got the dark shade here. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. That is an espresso if I've ever seen it. I kind of just always like showing the, the um, swatches on my fingers because I think they kind of show up better. So that's that quad. Got four of these, okay, four of them. This is Glittertastic. <laughs> um, and this is called Rainbow Sprinkles, aptly named. Whoa. All right, I'm doing these two right here. Wow. I'm afraid of that one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, but look at how gorgeous those are. What? Look at, there's like an oranginess and like a little bit of blue here. Wow. Go with, uh, CC saying go with the orange sherbet. We'll see, we'll see. I feel like I might need to use one of those glitters. Okay, don't get too excited, Kate. We've got two more palettes, okay? Don't jump the gun. Okay, so here, here are these two shades right here. Whoa. Whoa. And they are very, um, like wet feeling, like they've got a tackiness to them. Wow, look at that. If you like glitter, get that palette. That's bananas. Okay, palette number two. Thank you so much for your work, Rainbow Sprinkles. Then we've got extra toppings. The glitter is a little chunky. I'm going to tell you right now, this is glitter. Okay. It's not a shimmer. It's a glitter. So you have to, you're going to have to like glitter for that one. Okay. Rainbow sprinkles is a little difficult to open. If you have nails, can I do it? All right. Okay. I'm going to do these two shades right here. Ooh, I can tell I'm going to like this one. These are more like shimmers. Well, I guess I'll keep going on this arm. Oh my God. Whoa, whoa. Look at that one. Holy shnikes. That's gorgeous. That's, that might be my favorite, honestly, so far. It, well, I don't know. Close, close. And then we're doing these two mattes, like a pink and a brown. I know I'm going to have to use that. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to use that one. Pretty, going on pretty smoothly for matte shadows. Those are really, really nice. I know, I'm such a sucker for pink. I'm such a sucker for pink. Cece's right. Okay, and we're on to the last palette. This looks really fun. This is called Sunday Fun Day. Cindy Buyer, I think Better Off Red needs all of those shades, yes. so fun. Okay. These two first right here. Okay. Whoa. 
wait, Sherry Ford, is she, is she talking? Is she saying things? Did I miss something? Okay. Um, look at how, I, I don't even know how I'm going to choose. These are so, so fun. And then we've got this banana shade and the hot pink. Wow, good thing we're done because we're getting to the end of my arm. <laughs> so the bana uh, banana shade has like um, a little bit of shimmer to it, but it's really, really subtle. Those are, those are all the shades of the palettes they sent me. And look at how fun they are. How will we choose? I'm going to do that one. And we'll go from there. We'll use the rest another time. It'll be fine. Maybe. All right. I think... Use that whole quad, CC's saying. Is that a challenge? We'll see. Maybe I should. Should I use this whole quad? Maybe my hair is dry and I could put product in it now. I think it is. <laughs> Does anyone else do this? No. Anyone else just like come to you with wet hair and then like th slap some product in it and call it a day? No, probably not because most people have more hair than me and it takes just way more. I used to have hair. I remember what it's like. It takes more work. Okay. Use more than two shades. I double dare you, Sherry Ford. Wow. Well, now I have to. I mean, there's just no two ways about it. All right, here we go. More than one shade. Cece and Sherry are adamant about it. <sighs> Demanding. Demanding. Okay. Oh, okay. All right, Cece, we get it. You and Sherry are like ganging up on me. <laughs> fine, fine. Did I clean any brushes? No. Oh, wait. Yes, I did. I have all those, those Katie Jane Hughes brushes. Um, okay. <sighs> well, I'm going to go in with this pink shade, the matte, the matte pink. Oh, I need some, um, eyeshadow base. Good night. Good night, Devo. <sighs> okay. Great. Going in with again with this matte rosy pink. Oh my God, I'm trying to read the names and I guys, they're too small. This, the print is too small. Well, that's lovely. Yeah, you could probably use this as a blush, Susie. You're right. You're absolutely right. Interchangeable. Oh, 
Oh, Jeep and Jazz Jasmine. Thank you. Wow. That is going on so smoothly, right? ColourPop. Can do no wrong. Better off red. I'm right on time for mascara. Sarah, I'm trying to use more than one shade. Send, send good thoughts. I'm using this palette. People are daring me to use the whole thing. I don't know. Probably not. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to be honest with you. I know a lot of people think that pink shadows make you look diseased. Thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayers. Um, but like, I mean, kind of, but it's cute though. Like diseased, but, but chic, you know? Sickly chic. Thanks, Lisa. I like my one and done too. Gonna at least do two though, don't you worry. A color pop. What can't you do? Okay, now, what do I want to do? Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to go in with that, that shade, that, that shade. I do want to tell you what it's called, and it's literally written in the smallest white... stop trying. I don't have a lot of real estate though, CC. I really don't. I don't have like big lids. I have hooded eyes. Woo! Whoa. Whoa, mama. Wow. Whoa. That is stunning. Wow. I mean, I'm going to be honest, like I wouldn't, you know, ColourPop comes, I know we've talked about this. They come out with so many new releases, probably wouldn't have purchased this, but it's gorgeous. Like what's even happening? And I'm going to take the lightest shade and do my brow bone with it. I mean, it might be, it might be rolly blingy, but, and it is, and it is. And I could do my, as Better Off Red says, my intercontor with it too, right? You think? You know, I know I could put brown in the crease, but I don't want to. I just, I feel like this is so perfect. And I just know if I put brown in the crease, I'm going to hate it. <laughs> on me, on me. The brown could be a liner. I know, but I'm using my Victoria Beckham liner. So like. I, you know, I just have to say, I just feel like when I do like a, anytime I add like a smoky situation in, in, I always, for me, I always regret it. I'm just like, oh no, I feel elderly. I feel ancient. So we just won't do that just won't do that. I mean, I look very, this is a very bright look. Nicole, use the whole thing. 
no. Um, okay, so I think, oh, but you know what I might do? I might might use it, this, maybe the, the matte pink underneath my um, lower lash line. Mabes, Mabes. Because we want to look fully diseased, not just halfway. Sickly chic, exactly, CC. Go big or go home. Jeep and Jazz, welcome to the good job, gang. Oh, I actually do like that. And this brush, these Katie Jane Hughes brushes. Um amazing okay and then sorry i have like little dusties little particles on my nose um and then i'm gonna take a tiny brush and i'm gonna wet it and then i'm gonna do my inner corner With, the, with the, the super white shade that I, or the kind of white pinky shade that I used on my brow bone. <laughs> Cece, go Kate, go, go Kate, go. You can do it. You can do it. Guys, we did the whole kit and caboodle, except for the brown, but that's okay. What spray did you use to wet your brush for the inner, <laughs> into Conta? I use the um, Charlotte Tilbury airbrush spray, which is like my go-to setting spray across the board, but especially in some, summer time. Sherry Ford, we're so proud of you. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you, oh my God, thank you so much. You guys are the best. Okay, so this was the extra toppings palette is what we used. Great. Now I'm gonna pull out my Victoria Bex. This, this damn satin Kajal pencil can have its way with me. Did I already say that about another product tonight? I think I did. Well, what are you gonna do? It's gonna be a crazy, crazy time tonight. This is the Victoria Beckham Satin Kajal Eyeliner. Okay, in the shade Coco. Maybe I'll zoom in a little bit so you guys can see my... Jasmine, too sweet, too sweet. I know I do need more, I'm gonna get more of these. These are, I never thought I would find, after the Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Coal Liner and what's the other one? Charlotte Tilbury, oh, and Pat McGrath. I love those two eye pencils and they're super buttery and I still love them, but like, damn, this might have surpass them. Just a tiny baby wing. I really kind of am blown away by how well the mats went on. They went on so smooth. <laughs> Joanna, yes, the Marc Jacob liners have been seriously dethroned. I like the Marc Jacobs liners, and I when I when I first used them, I was like, these are it. And I don't dislike them, but they're just have yeah, I mean 
they're just ones that are better in my opinion. It is a decent sized pencil and it also comes with a smudger. Megan Weber, welcome to the good job gang. Thank you. Oh, and if you guys are here and if your eyeballs are upon my visage, please give this a thumbs up. Do it. Trying to always make this shit even. It's probably never perfectly even, but it's even enough. Let's, I mean, yeah. And once you put mascara on, it's all good. Okay. Mascara. Now I'm breaking out my um, Beauty Pie Uber Volume Boost Velvet Mascara, one of my favorite current mascaras. I know I've mentioned this many, many times, but I'm gonna mention it again because I'm using so many Beauty Pie products tonight. I do have a free month. I have a code with them. It's in the description box. If you use Kate Sent Me, you get, a, you get to try it out for a free month. I highly recommend. because they're killing the game. Thanks, Natalie. Okay, I'm gonna do my lower lash line this time because you know, we're going whole hog. One eye down, one eye down, better off red. Thank you, Sarah. Whenever I do my like put shadow underneath my lower lash line, I always think of Sarah because she's like the queen of doing that and it always looks so, so good on her. Yes, this mascara is cray. It's so good. What even was my life before Beauty Pie? Like what, what was it? So I have to tell you guys yesterday when I went out or last night when I went out with Brandy, I did wear makeup. And let me tell you, it's a trek because 
We're going to see the movie. It was Alamo Draft House, so it's in downtown Brooklyn. I think I might have mentioned that. Um, cool. Awesome. Sweet. Um, <laughs> we'll clean that up in a second. We're going to leave it there. Um, wow, that was really a doozy, wasn't it? Um, and I wore... this combination of makeup. Exactly. I mean, in terms of the complexion products and it, I, I also use the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. It really did stay very nicely and it was very sweaty yesterday. Um, and I was wearing a mask a lot of the time. So one, make sure you use a setting spray. But I just wanted to tell you because, you know, all those products are pretty dewy. But it wasn't too bad. <laughs> Can't get over that mascara on my lid. I really, really want to get rid of it. But you can't do it too soon or else you'll smudge it. So we're not going to do that, okay? All right, what next? Wow, we're coming, we're coming to close to the end here. Um, mascara, moving on to lips. Um, I'm going to use the Clay de Poe uh, radiant lip gloss in the shade charm, which looks real again. It, you know what? It looks, these look very similar, right? The beauty pie. I mean, they're almost the same. Um, and I actually tried this on last night and I was, it was gorgeous. Bye Pamela. Oh, isn't that just a beautiful dusty rose shade? Let me just get rid of this mascara before it kills me. I think it's time. I think it'll be okay. Wow, I really, I really got in there with that, didn't I? go back in with some shadow. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Hi, Lisa. All right, let me just get the shadow again. Just a little, just a little bit. I think I'm being a little intense about that, but Wow, note to self, don't do that with mascara. It's fine. Sorry, I know I'm, okay. Okay, that's, that's fine, that's better. So hello, Dole Designs. All right, lips. Now we're gonna go back in with blush, just a little bit, because I know we've got the bronzer and the blush going on, but I'm gonna go back. Beyond the Skin with Michelle, Kate, please hold up the Miss Piggy mirror next to your face so look matches perfectly. <laughs> it's pretty close, it's pretty close. Um, I'm gonna go in, <laughs> hi Gabe. I'm gonna go back in with the Beauty Pie Cream Blush and just do the apples. I just can't resist pink because it looks so fresh. 
you know? It just looks, it's ingenue, ingenue pink. And I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so we can see the finished look because I still have to do highlighter. Um, and I think this is actually gonna be a really good choice. So this is <laughs> Karen K. Should you should rename this video Pretty in Pink. Good call. Good call. Maybe I will. Um, this is the Ilya Dole Designs. What size ring do you wear? I, why do you ask? Um, depending on what finger, but I wear like a six and a half on my ring finger. And then these fingers, I wear like a seven and a half. An eight would be the biggest, like seven and a half on my index finger. But I think this is a like a seven and a half eight. Um, so this is the Liquid Light Serum Highlighter from Ilya. I completely, I'm just trying to like pull out stuff that I've used like once. You know what I mean? This was really beautiful and I kind of forgot about it. This is in the shade Atomic. really nice really really nice and subtle that might have been too much Bl or not or asia 34 and 6 blinding maybe it's not subtle um i hate when my hair doesn't lay down lay down yeah that's really really nice a really nice liquid illuminator that i totally forgot about but yeah so I think that is I think we're done I think we're done so's this is the finished Luke I had no idea how this is going to turn out because I didn't know which palette I was going to use but again these are the I have to reference the ice cream bites collection and I used I'll put this in the description box but I used extra toppings and then um, yeah, they sent me three others, which I, I really, really want to use this one. This will be stunning. And then this one is fun too. This is very like eighties, right? So fun. You guys are the best. Just totally calm me down. Who knew that like going live in front of a bunch of people would be calming, but somehow it is, <laughs> especially when you go to a pharmacy and it's a shit show. So, um, Oh, thank you, thank Jessica. I hope you use the other eyeshadow quads. I definitely will. So those quads, um, again, were sent to me by ColourPop and they are going to be available tomorrow. Um, and you guys are great. And I, I didn't get another drink. I didn't even have time, but I will be having one now <laughs> after I say goodnight. Um, I do these every Monday and Wednesday at 7.30. I'm gonna change it to 7.30 p.m. because so many of you guys said that that works better for you and I will be also I'm really trying to um thank you Michelle I'm really trying to I know I've been traveling a lot I went to Atlanta I went home you know to Las Vegas to visit my parents and I know my upload schedule has been a little bit erratic um but I'm like hunkering down and getting back on schedule. So I'm, I'm aiming for two live streams a week, two normal videos a week. Um, that's my goal. That's my goal. You guys are awesome. I will see you at the next live stream Monday at 7.30 p.m. Bye.